It's like going back to the old lockdown days, isn't it? <laughs> Is it good, yeah? I'm on, yeah. Morning, folks. How are we all doing? I hope you're doing well. May the 4th be with you. Um, so, look, very quick intro. What were you doing on Feb February the 18th? It was the 18th, wasn't it? Yes. I've got a big, uh, a big black uh, sticker on me uh, on me board up there saying big um, yeah it was a crazy day and we're just kind of gonna gonna we've got a two-part show today uh, gonna reminisce um, I haven't seen this I've got to be honest with you folks I haven't I haven't seen this yet so I'm gonna watch it with you guys um, got a little bit of admin to do as well while I'm at it um, but uh, we're gonna watch this for the next five hours and then um, so wherever you are, if you're uh, laid up in hospital or if you're at home, uh, maybe at work, getting a sneaky look, um, wherever you might be, um, I, ho I hope you're well. And um, we're going to do this and then later on this afternoon I'm going to make my way down to Gatwick uh, where I'm meeting up with Zane Dunning and the Virgin crew. Uh, where we are going to be throwing the kitchen sink at me, uh, uh, reenacting that very day with those very same conditions, landing on the very same runway in a 787 Dreamliner, uh, doing some playouts as well. So um, enjoy this. I'm certainly going to sit back and enjoy it. Um, and we will see you a little bit later on down at Gatwick. Okay, GP, you can run VT. It's in it! Flask out of the case, Jerry. Oh. Man, it's tiring. It's tiring, man. But fun. All the fun of the fair. Oh, Jenny, we've got an A380. Oh, folks, get sharing. Share it now. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the biggest uh, commercial passenger aircraft in the world. Um, well, I mean, some people may argue uh, that, of course, the 747-8 uh, 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 trumps it. But uh, in terms of the fact that it's a double-decker, this is, uh, you know, um, so many people still don't know about, uh, they maybe have heard about the A380 but not seen it. So uh, share this to your family and friends, folks, um, because this is gonna be awesome. I think this was the delayed uh, A380 in from Dubai. Not this little one now. Oh, let's hope he doesn't go around, man. Let's hope he doesn't go around. Should appear um, quite soon behind that 320. Down at 4,000 feet. Come on, mate, you can do it. You can do it. You would think it's a tricky one, isn't it, really? Because, uh, you know, the youngsters, the younger pilots would, um, you would think because, uh, they, you know, a lot, of the, um, a lot of the Formula One drivers play on their uh, PlayStations and all that, don't they? So you would have thought that they, these kind of conditions, they'd uh, dwell on it. Um, but of course, uh, you know, the veteran pilots, uh, obviously been there, seen it, done it, worn the T-shirt, landed the jet, Sorry, BA38, Emirates 380, um, just appearing.
do it, he's going to do it. Oh, he's down. Fair play, mate. Fair play. Wow. Wow, OK. The big unit now, folks. Here we go. Now, we talk about... Um, we talk about bridges being closed to high-sided vehicles. This is a high-sided aeroplane, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the huge, great big uh, main tailplane on the back of it. Vertical stabiliser, around about 70 feet off the ground. And um, just the biggest aeroplane you can buy. Everything about this plane is big. Um, so um, check this out. trained in terms of their uh, go-around procedures. Oh, is this? No, this is Qatar, isn't it? I think this is Qatar, isn't it? Yeah, this looks more like Qatar. hear from me folks <laughs> before I get 300 odd tons of flipping gear landing on me now alone the big behemoth double decker Airbus A380 he's going around he's going around <laughs> Paddy power. Paddy power. Well, they want to gamble on our, 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 whether he's going to land it or not. <laughs> 15 to 1 odds on that this guy's going to land. <laughs> gamble responsibly, of course, ladies and gentlemen. Flipping neck, man. That was that was pretty insane, man. So that's that's attempt number one. Where's he gonna go if he diverts then?
Sarah, just because he got one. Nicely executed. Piece of cake, he's gone. Piece of cake. Hello! <laughs> okay, is this another 380? You can't have, you can't have gone round and come back again. This is a BA 380, isn't it? No? Yes? What? Who said that? <laughs> Gee, just have a look, will you? Blimey, O'Reilly. Okay, so this is in from Dubai, this is Emirates. This is Emirates. Okay. No, no, it's alright, it's okay. Okay, Emirates A380. Let's see, um, let's just see how, um, how these guys do compared to Qatar. Again, very strict procedures with uh, Emirates bring the gear down too early or too late um, you end up in the governor's office when you get back to base something vectoring in behind him yeah this is Emirates yeah the Qatar just went out Singapore triple in behind him so uh, obviously all these all these parameters all this information is being um, constantly uh... Wow This is a big bird man The double decker Let's see how How much uh... Yeah, big shout out to all the teams on the uh, on the air side as well, folks. You've got to remember all the crews who've got to unload these aircraft as well, um, driving their vehicles around the aprons in treacherous conditions. Uh, got to give them a big uh, a big load of applause. Okay, so somebody calling me. Is that the BBC calling me now? I don't want to be finding me one. I'm right in the middle of a standby GP. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Okay, yeah, we've uh, we just got an A380. Can you stand by, or do you wanna? Because I'm holding the phone up to me head. Can you hold on a second? Stand by, stand by. Okay, you see these big plumes of smoke coming out the back of the engines here, folks. That's the, uh, that's the pilot manipulating the thrust, keeping the speed up, keeping the aircraft in the right direction. There's a lot of work going on inside that cockpit. He's made it further than the, uh, the Qatar. The phone's just gone down. Yeah, nicely done. Nicely done. 
Okay, stand by GP your phone. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm just going to transfer you over the headset as well. Hold on a second. another go around wow that was a long way out as well sorry yeah 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 go put, 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 put me on hold that's fine I'm, st I'm still here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you will, mate. You will know. I'm, I'm on a headset. That's the only way I can do it. I couldn't believe that last fella said that he's playing golf in it. But anyway, there you go. Good luck to him. Um, but yeah, no, no, we're a live aviation channel. We're uh, all over YouTube and uh, all over the world streaming live aviation events. Um, but uh, obviously, this is uh, this is this is um, the best sort of scenario you could possibly imagine. Obviously, you've got to give big, um, big um, kudos to the to the pilots and uh, and the crews working at the airports. But um, this is this is the most exciting stuff that you can possibly get. Got over a, a set, I think it's around about 120,000 people watching live right now on our YouTube channel. Yeah, I mean normally uh, normally the conditions are calm, obviously, and we we have uh, we have great shows that we do for hours on end. Um, people watching from all over the world. We even got. Um, some folks in Micronesia who watch us and are members but um, right now these conditions with uh, 70 mile an hour gusting winds it's a 
pretty intense. And what is great is you get to see the skill of the pilots and how they manage to handle it. Uh, because it is, uh, it is all the skill. We've just got an approaching aircraft right now, as I'm talking to you now. It's a small um, A320. It could be in from anywhere in, inside Europe or, uh, or uh, in, in the UK. But uh, he's just about to approach us now. And behind him, we've got a Qatar A380, uh, the biggest commercial jetliner with a passenger jetliner that is. Oh, oh, hold on a minute. No, uh, sorry. No. Uh, you're right. <laughs> the um, yeah, he went around just now, and if he goes around three times, he's got to divert somewhere. So we've had diversions, cancellations, and all kind of stuff. He's coming over the top of me right now. Here he comes. Now's the critical part. Now's the critical part. Yes, many of them. Yeah, I'm in fact, to be honest with you, I think we've had, uh, I think we've had almost as many uh, go-arounds uh, for this show as we have uh, with, uh, that we did with Storm Kira. Um, so, you know, I mean, it's very, very treacherous because these guys are obviously having to back uh, the winds all the way down through the, uh, through the descent into Heathrow. It's, it's right the way to the point where they're literally feet off of the ground. So it's very intense and um, you've got to give um, a lot of respect to these pilots for doing this. Well, it's a bumpy ride, and especially if you have a if you have a go around scenario. Um, if it's if it's a long way out, then it's a, it's obviously a lot more manageable. But when they're uh, very close to touchdown and they go around, which is a procedure that they that the pilots execute on the aircraft, um, then it can be a lot more sort of like um, um, uh, uh, twitchy for the for the passengers. We've got a Dreamliner. Uh, that's just about to come straight over the top of me. It looks like he's very low on the glide slope. Um, this could be an interesting one. And then after him, we've got the A3. Oh no, he's up. He's off centre. I think this might be Air India. But um, but yes, it is. Uh... Hold on. Oh, he's very low. Just checking to see if he's going to land it. Looks like he's got it. Winds are gusting. Yeah, very skilled Indian pilot there. He's down, he's down. Yeah, so obviously a lot of very happy passengers. But yes, of course, like you said, you've got to think of all those folks who are on board the aircraft um, and people who are on, um, who are, who are on um, a diver maybe or, uh, or or people who are transiting from one country to another they miss their flight uh, so there's all sorts of uh, crazy things that you have to consider in terms of the logistics this next one if you've got about 20 seconds this next one is the big daddy uh, from qatar he's already gone around once um little bit uh, these like i said these guys are very um strict in their in their procedures um both both, uh, both for, uh, both for, you know, for flying in general. When they, if they put their gear down too quick, for example, or put their gear down too late, uh, they'll get a wrap over the knuckles when they get back to base. But um, these guys, obviously, with an A380, it's the biggest aircraft, uh, a commercial jetliner in the world. It's a double decker, and it's a bit like when they say that they're closing the, um, they're closing the, 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 the bridges for high-sided vehicles. This is a much, so much of a high-sided aeroplane. Um, and of course, when they've got their undercarriage down, there's even more uh, aerodynamic um, buffering going on underneath the aircraft. Uh, he's uh, probably about 10 seconds from me. Uh, if you can hold, I don't know. I know you've got other people to talk to. You go. Take care. Be safe. Yes. Okay. Be safe. Cheers. Okay, folks. Right, got to stop all these bleeding interviews. All these people coming, messaging me. I've heard of them for about 20 years. 
Um, funny as hell. Uh, Jilly, I'll come to you in a second. Stand by. Second attempt, a little le less blustery. Like I say, look at the uh, the exhaust plumes out the back of the jets, out the back of the engines. That's him manipulating the throttles, keeping the speed up. You don't want to come in with too low speed. He's going to get it this time. Come on, son, you can do it. is insane man still struggling against the conditions there look gear going up uh oh big big one coming big one coming Okay, stand by! <laughs> Channel 4 News at the fence. Beautiful A350, look at this. There's a lot going on. Fair play to that fella who said he's going to go and play golf with him. Good luck to you, mate. <laughs> Take about 40 shots to just get off the tee. running across the field to interview me. <laughs> oh man, I can't, I can't really, I, I don't really want to, no, no man, no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> 
okay. Well, his mate didn't make it earlier on, did he, this TAP jet? I think he went out, he went back, he diverted, didn't he? I've got to be honest with you. I'm not. Uh... Oh, Bosch! Get it down, mate! Yeah! Oh, my goodness, mate. Okay, triple seven. Here we go. Ooh. That's the Singapore Airlines triple seven that went around just about twenty minutes ago, folks. Popping it down on the left side. Whoa! Man, no way the swing there. Oh my God, that is. I got up. Be honest with you, man. When you when you when you're sitting on an aeroplane and it and it's and it's got that amount of sway, it's just just nuts, man. Just absolutely nuts. And you feel it as well, man. It's like you're in a washing machine. God bless you. Have you ever been in a washing machine, then, Jerry? Uh, no. <laughs> but that bloke's playing golf in the wind. <laughs> What'd you get there then, fella? 46. But it's a par 4. Do I get a point? <laughs> Do I get a point? Okay, we're good there. Right, let's come back to our wonderful... Uh, members, right, folks. How you doing? Hope you're well. In between, in between interviews, it's just insane, man. I don't know how Channel Four are going to do this one, man, because they got they got a cameraman and uh, and a reporter and a. TV fucking me. Adam, if you can hear me, mate, stand by, mate. Dave. <laughs> no, Dave, Dave, the channel, man. Massive channel.
luck to those elevators, mate. Wow, right, okay, there we've got a little bit of time. We've got a little bit of time. Um, right. Oh. Hello, mate, you're right. Do what, sorry? Uh, I think so. I gave an interview on BBC Two. I don't I didn't speak to Jeremy, so um <laughs> until it stops. Okay. About what time, sorry? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, we should be okay to do that, mate. Yeah, it's not far off, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, mate, yeah, no problem at all. Well, it's a little bit difficult to do that because, uh, you know, it's not, it's a field next to the BP station. Are they, are they familiar with the area? Are they, are they familiar with the area? Because I, there, there is no sort of, uh, um, Oh, it's, good. it's a difficult one, mate. It's a difficult one. Uh, just in terms of in terms of letting them know where I am. Uh, it's also get. Uh, no, no. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, right. Well. Uh, Yeah, I'm. I'm at the. Um, I'm in the. I'm in a paddock, which is at the, uh, the literally at the at the end of the runway, um, the east end, the eastern end of the runway, or southeastern end of the runway, um, which is uh, next to Myrtle Avenue. If you tell them Myrtle Avenue, um, Oh God, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. All fully, all, all fully. They're fully aware of everything that's going on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, mate. Let. Right. Let me see if I can get Jilly involved in it. It's just. A, it's just that obviously I'm filming, so it's and, and also and also. Um, so let me let me see what I can do, Adam. Yeah. Okay, mate. 
cheers. Okay, next one inbound, folks. It's sort of like very sort of like disruptive, this whole thing, isn't it? Uh, very sort of disruptive. I care more for my uh, care more for my viewers than I do for uh, giving interviews on the radio and all that kind of thing. I mean, God bless them and all that sort of stuff. But uh, yeah, don't. It's it's, it's quite. Uh, wow, 185,000 people watching. Are you sure? Next one coming folks, don't worry, the feed has not frozen. In the meantime... Have some horses. <laughs> Gamble responsibly. I love animals, I'm an XBA crew and I hated flying in this weather, although our pilots are five star. There we go, I love animals. Welcome everybody. Uh, sorry if I haven't come to your comments, there's just so much stuff going on at the moment, man. Oh my God, Jilly. Is that, is that, is that a whole crowd of people watching it in a bar or something? With a pack, what's that? Flailing Arm Emporium. There's a plane there somewhere. Spec Savers. <laughs> appointment or something. Oh mate, you ain't gonna land in this. You're gonna have to you have to go around and come back again. As I tell you now. Adam, yeah, Adam needs to needs an address, Jilly. Have you got his details? He needs the address where we are. It's not like number 42 Acacia Avenue, is it? Ding ding ding! Ding ding ding! Is that what? up round the road. Okay, this is the other, this is that go around again, isn't it? I think this is the second attempt. 
seventy, is it? I've lost count of go arounds, man. Totally lost count. That B, that that uh, three hundred and eighty was absolutely awesome, man. Mind you, I think the most dramatic was the triple seven. Sorry, folks. Say it again. Bleeding me, you <laughs> Yeah, big testament to these pilots, man. Both of them working together. Altitude, speed. Pilot working away at the controls. Managing the descent, managing the speed. A triple seven, Boeing triple seven. No, don't don't dive towards me, mate. Don't dive towards me. You're okay. You're all right. You're all right. Hey! Oh man, that was a big wing dip, man. Look at him having to control that side slip, mate. anything Retrieve that before this jet comes in. Yeah. Sorry, folks. <laughs> the woman on the BBC was like, is he landing, Jerry? Jerry, I can't hear you, Jerry. <laughs> What's happening, Jerry? <laughs>
need about a week off after this. <laughs> oh my god, that was crazy, mate! Oh! Oh! <laughs> you gotta laugh, in ya, eh? Hey! <laughs> crazy conditions. Crazy! Crazy! <laughs> Ball jar job on. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Wow, that was pretty spectacular, that Virgin go around, wasn't it? Hey, hey! Oh, what's this emerging through the mist here? Looks like a 380. This looks like a 380. Yes, suspiciously like a 380. Breaking news! Qatar, third attempt, folks. Here we go, now. If he doesn't make it down, where's he going to pop off to then? <laughs> yeah, the address. He needs the address, mate. Yeah. Yeah, beep, 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 yeah. And then just put in the text, you know, um, uh, walk left. Okay, here come the Channel 4 crew. <laughs> okay, folks, here we go. Attempt number. Last, this is your last call. Okay, that's the, uh, that's the last of the rain, I think. Come on, that. Okay, here we go. Say it then. around literally right over the top of us last time maybe he's handed over the controls to uh, maybe if it was the co-pilot or the uh, senior first officer who was uh, flying her in maybe he's handed over the reins to the captain who knows or maybe these SFOs turned around and said listen mate I don't mind having a go if you want to hand it over go on it son Bees are on me if you bring her in. Okay, side slip. Standard procedure approach here, folks. undercarriage alone 35 tons folks she's a big aeroplane double decker 70 foot tall tail on her here we go this is better this is better nice and straight Look at the aileron. Bosh! 
flipping it. Yeah. Hundred and eighty eight thousand people watching. Well done, sir or madam. Might just want to check that left car. She came down all her way, came down on that left side. Oh, hello, we've got uh, fire appliances. Uh, what's the nature of your emergency? Uh, I've got a shed stuck in me car. Gone around. I think this guy might go around. Hold on a second. Yeah, although this is a lot of fun, don't forget that this is all about the pilots. Yeah? yeah, you've got to give these guys, uh, they've got big kahunas, yeah. you know, uh, but the ladies are obviously not. Uh, but um, yeah, just stand by one second. Yeah. So we've had a lot of uh, a lot of aircraft that have uh, obviously attempted to land and gone around yeah. um, and a number of them that have uh, have obviously had to divert Did you, get, you get three chances you have to divert to another uh, so three strikes and you're out wow. yeah so tell me what's the most dramatic thing you've seen yet this morning 
Well, to be honest with you, all of them really, you know, every, every, every maneuver over the top of us is always pretty dramatic. Um, but uh, when they're nearly touching down that's, and they go around, that's when, it's, uh, when it gets really leery. And that's why being up here and being able to see the runway. Uh, okay, this guy's coming in sideways. British Airways A350, so these guys are trained up pretty... Don't get fooled by the fact that there's no wind on the ground. These guys are feeling it up there at 200 feet. Oh, easy! Heavy man. So where was that coming from, that one? Um, I'll tell you, he's just landed from. Uh, oh, that's great, isn't it? Be, uh, oh, hold on a minute. Bengaluru. Wow. Yeah, yeah, so um, obviously, you know, they would have been warned when they're departing uh, that there are strong winds at Heathrow. Um, been a lot of diverts, a lot of delays, a lot of uh, cancellations, of course, you know. A uh, bit of confusion and yeah. pandemonium going on inside the airport right now, I'd imagine. So how many do you think have, have failed the third strike and had to go? Uh, we've had, I think, the, uh, I think three at least. Yeah. yeah, but we've had a couple, like that Qatar tri uh, uh, 380 just then. <laughs> he made it down on his third attempt. Because God knows where he would have gone otherwise. office is giving the uh, readout of the speed and the descent, uh, the direction and all that kind of thing. But the, uh, the, 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 the flying pilot, he's just got one job to do and that is literally steer that aircraft uh, down onto the ground with the, with the throttles and the, um, and the column. Would you like to do that? Of course I would. My dad flew, so yeah, yeah, back in the old days. Yeah, so uh, it's a shame he's gone now. I would have loved to have had, you know, had some chats with him about flying um, in, the, in, the, in these conditions. for 11 hours sometimes. Yeah, yeah. No break. Six, seven thousand people. And today? 230,000. It's just insane, man. Just insane. An absolute pleasure. Take care. Be safe, yeah? See you. He's just going to get a wide shot. A what now? That was insane, man. That was insane. Happy mm -hmm. What is the next one coming in? You are? What's the next one coming in, do you think? Well, there's quite a bit of a gap, actually. Yeah. Oh, here we go. He's just putting into the back of the stack now. It's only a small one. Uh, BA855 from Prague. Right, okay. Yeah, so... Uh, it's a smaller jet, which, you know, high winds like this will cause them quite a lot of issues, you know. Yeah. It's, a, it's a bit of a, a funny one, really. You don't know whether the bigger jet's going to be easier to fly than the smaller jet. Yeah. You know, so it's, uh, it's, it's it's one of those things. I think, really, at the end of the day, it's all down to the skill of the pilot. Yeah. Whether, they're, uh, whether they're a rookie pilot or whether they're a seasoned pilot, it really it makes no difference, you know. They're either up for it or they're a little bit unsure about it, you know. Copy, copy.
Oh. <laughs> okay, wow, so many people in chat. Hello everybody, I do apologise, I've not been able to read your names out. Um, I've not been able to read out all the new members. I think we've got over 100 new members today. Uh, really apologise for not being able to shout you out. Thank you everybody for tuning in, really appreciate your company. Um, it's going to carry on, we're going to stay here until it, until it uh, cat up to 7 in 25 minutes. Stephen Callahan saying, uh, Rob, uh, Sarah Jo, good afternoon everybody. Howard Pinfield, meeting last night. Channel 4 News, Kelvin Grant, there we go. Uh, Mark Hansen, Blue Power, 200,000 at the most. Jerry is viral. They're viral folks, it's us. We're the ones. It's you. Rab H, totally insane today. Uh, Howard Pinfield, Jeff Anderson, Captain Sky Marshall. Good afternoon everybody. Welcome all our new members. Give us a like folks. Hit that like button on uh, YouTube if you want. D Diesel13, thank you very much. Matteo, Mariano, gone up 20,000 subs. Wow, it has. Ethan Ribbons, uh, this will be interesting. Um, wow. Just, uh, stand by GP. Hello? Hello? Oh mate, I'm uh, yeah, yeah, oh, I'll call you back, I'll call you back. thousand going off to market. Trip one thousand, get him on the roll. Three for two, three for two. Pad bananas. Wow. Kitstone, uh, Rebecca, sw sword, um, sword, uh, George Collard Jenkins. Uh, what's that GP? Sorry, repeat. Okay. Uh, Pond D, truth be told, good afternoon to you. Welcome to Premium Helen Clap. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Liz Matthewman, uh, your success, Darren Edmonton. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, Bcal Pam. Well, you've got to put the hours in, haven't you? You've got to put the, got to put the graft in. I think we, uh, Kyle Thomas, Voyager pilot. It's just. Pinging, my phone's just constantly pinging by foot, mate. Ben D, good afternoon to you. Mark Collier. Uh, well, yeah. I think he's, uh, I think he's gone around that 321. I think he's given up. Is that 321 given up from Prague? Gave up a long time ago, didn't he? Oh no, here he is. 4,600 feet. Need heavies. Let's have a little look and see what we got. To, uh, see if we scroll out a little bit. Oh yeah, we got some heavies over the top coming towards us. Stand by, GP. Hello. Hello. Yes, yeah, speaking. Uh, a, a quick reactive what? Sorry. Uh, I can't look at it now, mate. I'm right in the middle of a live stream. Do you want to, um, do you want to, do, do, can we talk afterwards? Is that possible? Or do, is it something you wanted to do now or? Hello? No. Oh. Okay, it's turning into a little bit 
bit more of a headwind actually. Uh, wind has actually changed direction ever so slightly. Still a crosswind, still strong enough. Copy GP. just accidentally cut someone off who was phoning me about some seminar or something or oh, I don't know asking me to open an email now <laughs> thanks folks thanks to everybody we'll have a calm show on uh, well we might not actually have a calm show on Sunday the right thing to go calmer show yeah Possible to control that chat. It is just going mental. The chat. Okay, so this fine. too far folks we've got a Virgin 350 uh, south of the field in from Los Angeles sunny Los Angeles uh, coming back to this just about to uh, enter the stack another Air India Dreamliner uh, which has been in the hold for quite some time by the looks of it British Airways BA276 in from Hyderabad, uh, also just about to join the ILS. Behind um, the little Air Serbia jet. Little 319. You've got to think that, you've got to think that, you know, you feel, you would feel, wouldn't you feel more uh, comfortable in a bigger airliner uh, in these conditions uh, compared to being in a small aeroplane. I mean, especially in a light aeroplane. But, um, but the bottom line is that at the end of the day, the, um, the uh, why is that GP? What, because of the speed? Okay, 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 that's fine. Do that then, yeah, yeah, do that. Yeah, do that. Well, that's all right. We're just going to have to switch it. So, going to members only chat, folks. I'm afraid um, if uh, we just got a, a ton of trolls in there, uh, but we can't handle it, to be honest with you. So, um, we're going to member only chat. So, if you're a new member, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Really important that you do that uh, because when you sign up as a member, it doesn't automatically subscribe you. So, um, if you want to come in and chat, um, say hello, tell us where you're from what's going on in your local area and uh, give us information on aircraft that are coming in and uh, any other news that uh, that you might want to tell us okay here comes the next one from stand So now he is having to, because it is sort of like uh, turning more towards a, uh, a side and headwind. He's having to see the plumes of uh, soot coming about out the back of those engines to keep the speed up. Comes off the throttles too much. Things going to uh, drop like a stone. Go around, it's got to be a go around, isn't it? It's got to be a go around, there's no way, he's too high, he's far too high. Finally.
Okay. <laughs> I'll be doing that tonight. <laughs> Actually, I do that quite a lot, to be honest with you. <laughs> These fellas who've gone and bought big, big horns for their trucks. That one's proper flipping. Uh, so I don't know which. <laughs> don't know which number that was. Is anyone counting those go arounds? Did anyone count those go arounds yet, folks? Um, anyone got the go arounds? Um, oh my God! What's it, what's that big long list of members? I can't. What's it? It's just going ding, 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 ding. Oh my goodness me. Didn't it work? radio stuff on, on, on the phone and uh, other people and had ITV Britain's busiest airport here with us earlier on so she was here for a, for a couple of hours so yeah yeah it'll be good sorry uh, we've got literally a long list of people who want to interview me post the show so. this is where the fun's really at I don't mind doing the interviews but you know. everybody uh, to the craziest uh, maddest uh, live stream aviation channel in the world uh, we love you guys we love you um, it's just insane isn't it it's ding 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 isn't it um, never known anything like it in my life hit the like button folks let's get up to 100,000 likes how about that uh, there's another one how many hit a landing on the first tie uh, Griffin Claw saying um, well quite a few actually Griffin Claw uh, <laughs> uh, Griffin Claw, yes, uh, quite a few of them hit landing on the first try. Uh, Michael Barber, I can't read the chat, it's flying past. Uh, Basil, see you've got an 80 mile now uh, um, tailwind on the chat, Jilly. Um, Curb Appeal, good afternoon, okay, finally became a member. Nick Carter, uh, Joshy Washy, there's a lot of members indeed. There is Zombie Tog, good afternoon to you, you and Weech. Who in Chew is here? Uh, Jeffrey Chan, David uh, Brammer, new member, James Earp, uh, Andy Stevenson, Wayne Dyer, good afternoon. One, two, three, people development. Is that 207,000 watching? Uh, well done, thank you very much indeed. Adrena Rush, uh, good afternoon. KP, Darren Golding, just crazy amount of people um, right now tuning in and um, you're watching uh, a sky. <laughs> Welcome everyone. Oh, he's lost count of the go-arounds. Uh, sorry, folks, did anyone get it? Uh, Michael Simpson, uh, good afternoon to you. Lieutenant Lev, um, Maz B. Uh, Caitlin Moran on Twitter is partially to thank for this. Her feed is where we picked Big Gem TV up from. Uh, Caitlin Moran, Jilly. big question is do we flick this out from here and do this sorry folks just the um, that's better 
that's better. Here we go. Hold tight, hold tight. All the fun of the fair. Serbia 319 in it. It's what you've got what you can play for in the Nice little bit of manipulation on the elevators there. Nice. What's up, GP? What's third out? Queen of Hearts. Oh, okay, cool. His wife's on chat. Okay, so let me just get this. Okay, so we've got the pilot of Queen of Hearts inbound. His wife is watching and uh, he's a member. Okay, and he's two out, did you say? And his wife's watching. Oh, that is fantastic. That's what we love, man. Okay, big jet time. Looks like, looks like this is that 350, isn't it? From LAX, is it? The uh, Virgin 350. No, it's not. Or is it? Easy! <laughs> wind shear! Wind shear! Oh, he's gone around. He's gone around already, man. He's had enough. It's Dreamliner, in it? <laughs> Chelsea FC. <laughs> what are they saying? Ah, no, nah, sod that. <laughs> Stop watching Big Jet TV and watch it. So we're uh, encroaching on Chelsea FC's press conference. <laughs> that's hilarious, man. Oh, that's funny. Sorry about that. Stop watching Big Jet TV. Oh. keep up with the chat can't keep up the chat folks I do apologize um, keep that info coming in because even if I don't read it there's other members there who uh, who will value your uh, your input um, maybe some folks are not as uh, as glued up on aviation as you are uh, but there may be people, new people in there who are fully glued up on it and uh, want to give us some uh, information on aircraft that are uh, big, or if they're pilots, cabin crew, you'll get a lot of cabin crew on it and this is just nuts in it. This is impossible. 
now like a flipping roller coaster. Right, okay, we're now almost in a headwind situation here. Yeah, that, um, it's definitely turned to a direct westerly, Jilly. Bravest of the brave. Direct headwind now, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, that socks turned look is facing right at me, which makes it, to be honest with you, a little bit easier for them. <laughs> I say that these winds are still, uh, I don't know what they are right now, but they're gusting and they're straight on at them. It's a 350. Yeah, this is him. This is him now. This is him now. Okay, the missus is watching. No pressure. Oh, no. I don't know. <laughs> Plumes of smoke coming out of the back of the engines, man. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Come on, mate, you can do it. Our family's watching. I did bring a flask of coffee, but no chance at the moment. Look at it. Scott Good. Yes, indeed. Of course, uh, it's all it's all uh, it's all a lot of fun, but obviously, um, as we have mentioned uh, numerous times earlier earlier on, that um, you know it is. Um, Passenger safety is, is the number one priority here. Now you know, you know that it's a direct headwind now because I just got a big nose full of Dunlop. Still treacherous. 
interesting. She's dead and in. Gym. 
cameraman's lost in the field. Okay, in your, in your nice cosy offices or uh, okay now that that uh, light that light is completely limited sleepy so I'm thinking I might just try something in GP if I get the chance just to swap this swap this mic out Big enough for the both of us.
goodness me. Oh, it's not, it's not the easiest thing walking around with these bleeding great big clod hoppers on. Oh, we have horses. We have horses flipping up. What's going on? doing zoomies. <laughs> right, who's the mischief here? Oh, just catching little bits and bobs of your GP. Yeah, yeah, I can, but only sort of like in great detail, if you know what I mean. Behind him, man. Look at that beautiful rain behind him. Flipping lucky we didn't get that, I'm telling you. I've been a feeling, I've been. Okay, here we go. Tell me all about this chili when we finish because when I can talk to him in the, in the side of the cab because I'm, no, I'm, not really, I'm getting little bits and bobs of like you know channel five and paddy power and a little bit more exciting than the press conference but there you go you made it mind up I'd be increasing I'd be okay, this is, so who's this triple seven is it Qatar perhaps come on settle your differences with Airbus man let's so all shake hands and be happy <laughs> that was a bit nose up, wasn't it? Ooh. Wings flexing, man. Jump on the reverses. Stay in me flipping bonnet, man. Stay in me bonnet. Look at me bonnet, man. I was clean when I started out this morning. Now these flipping horses are just rub their noses and lips all over it. <laughs> Yeah, you lot. They've been re-sprayed with mud. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring this, uh, I'm going to bring this round here so that I can maybe hook up with the folks a little bit better over here. There we go. How you doing, folks? Uh, Cheryl Clark, just on ITV News, there's two. Uh, we're on ITV News, Chili. <laughs> oh, I don't know, mate. I don't know. Um, anyway, there we go. Uh, Sandy Humby, Sabira, Captain Sky Marshal, Chris Broadhurst, Scooter, 
poetry in motion. Comments are just going crazy. Kelvin Grant, Mirror Man, uh, Tom uh, Tahagen. Uh, watching in the pub would be great. Yes. There is another one in the battle, folks. Two behind him. Um, <coughs> Hatch Rock. Uh, Qatar triple uh, seven three hundred next in from Doha. I think that was the one just then. Perhaps was it? Um, Betty, Steve Lauty, Jan's views, Mojave, um, Nicola Humphreys. I'm free, Mrs. Humphreys. Um, good afternoon to you, Mrs. Humphreys. Uh, Nicola, sorry, maybe Ms. Humphreys. I don't know. Uh, but a very warm welcome to you. Uh, welcome. These are all my. Uh, uh, oh, here we are. Firework crazy. A380, Julian. 1421, thank you. Uh, Jerry Coombs is a new member, welcome. You're all over the media, seeing off as blue saying, Rav eights, the snow's all gone here. Last time I looked, there was a few inches, but that was still a headwind component at the moment. Um, Dorothy's house on finals from Kansas. Tim Allen saying, Paul Andrews, Greg James tweeting about you. Greg James tweeting about us, I don't know if Greg James, oops, forgive me. Um, I'm sure he's a very famous individual. Uh, Greg James. Um, Zombie told you all about now. O2 Arena Roof shredded, Brian Crawley saying. Wow, okay, that's an interesting one. We'll have to check in on that one. I hope everybody's safe, of course. Joe Thompson, uh, good afternoon. Uh, got mum, sister and friend now watching Joe. Sarah Joe. Uh, oh my God, this is the best day ever. Uh, it's gonna be a bit boring when the wind dries drop, drops down and we're just doing normal plays, isn't it? Uh, Richard Mortara, I don't, I don't know if I'm calming down a little bit Richard, but it, it's actually turned into a, uh, a headwind component now for these guys, which is obviously, um, you and Weech apparently Jilly the word Bosch is friending on Twitter. Did you hear that? Uh, thank you Owen B, Jack McCleary, you've made the Daily Mail. Ah. Uh. So these are uh, aircraft on approach to runway 27 left at London Heathrow, folks. Uh, dual runways here at London, they'll be departing out of the northern runway at the moment. I don't think we will have a switchover. However, to be honest with you, if it is a headwind, I expect to switch runways at 3 p.m. The crabbing has gone now. There, um, I mean, there's still a little bit of it. Oh no! Because I asked who it was. I might. Oh no. Is so tasty about a van. Hey, the state. You lot. Do what? Jilly? I can do what? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, bless. We've got a. Re did you, did, is that a Red Arrows pilot whose kids are watching the TV? Watching it on TV. Go around, go around. <laughs> that was wind shear as well, man. So, GP, I think they'll do a runway switch at three. I think they'll do the runway switch. Two more goes, two more goes. We bought three goes for a pound. There's a lot of people here, man. Straight in the middle of the goal. They don't like it up, sir! Hey, nice and tilly willy! <laughs> Wait a minute! You're not a millipede! Still got a picture, Jilly, you still got a picture. Jilly! Okay, still got a picture, yeah? Okay, okay, fair play. There's that old bomb just like fell off the sticks and was like dangling off using its own wires. Easy, son. It's getting a bit mental again, to be honest with you. Might be a headwind, but I tell you what. It's pretty flipping intense. Bully boy, triple seven, right here. Got big Dr. Martins on and everything. Oi!
aussi <laughs> Oh <laughs> That was literally ski athos that was just, That was ski athos that was right there Goodness, we had more thrust than a couple of CF-34s that did. That was nuts, man. Come on, bring it on. Let's get it on. So it looks a bit like, suspiciously like an A350, this one. Jones, just saw it, Harry. Emirates 29 crossing the Essex coast, Keith Cornell, Jan's view, Mick Moore's fault. Folks, you wait until you see this A380. Andy Johnston, good afternoon to you. Um, hello, everybody. Sorry, names just popping up out. Where's Bish Bash Bosch when you need him? <laughs> I've just seen us on TV, Julie. <laughs> Alan Partridge. I've got my foot stuck on a spike. Pat Meeker. Ryanair, another great tweet. There's been a go around at Heathrow, but from who? Jerry? I don't know, Jeff. <laughs> uh, George Locke, why only three t tries? That's a good question, now, George. Basically down to the fact that uh, uh, fuel reserves, really. The aircraft um, have enough fuel in reserve to do three attempted go arounds, okay? Because they obviously have to burn the fuel uh, on, their, on, those, on those attempts. And then, of course, if they have to divert, 
um, then they have to have the, um, uh, uh, the the adequate amount of fuel to uh, to carry out that flight. Uh, and some of these flights are uh, are a long way away. Like we had one this morning that went back to Lisbon, I think. Uh, one that went to Zurich. Ronald Coles, thank you. Stephanie Forty, seeing off as blue. Uh, Steve O, Frymaster, new stump headline. Man on Big Jet TV having the best day of his life. Can you see that new stump headline? Big man on Big Jet TV having the best day of his life. <laughs> you guys are great, man. You guys are what make it. Uh, Evelyn Hester, hello from Melbourne, Australia. Just got home from work. Looking good, Jerry and Jolly. Crikey. We asked a hundred people. I know, I told you. Bits and pieces UK and Mrs. watched you on Channel 4. Uh, I've been waiting five minutes out. Here we go, folks. Get ready for this one. Get sharing, because this will be crazy, this 380. Also, uh, Cody Bowman saying British Airways 380 also coming in uh, to Alice Jamie Humphreys. This is compelling viewing for feeding the baby. <laughs> I guess so. A live show every uh, every Wednesday um, and at the weekends as well we have a weekend show normally on Sundays but we sometimes do Saturdays it all does depend on the weather and wind directions and so on and so forth and of course as you guys are new members you will be joining me on our on the domestic and um, European shows if you're a premium member first class members of course joining us overseas in uh, transcontinental or intercontinental uh, shows uh, like the ones we're doing in America recently. Just got back from Boeing Field to see the Boeing 777X. headwind I'm imagining folks that we will probably uh, see a runway switch at three o'clock how you doing out there Are you good um, wow what a day we're having getting in the right flipping place mate uh, let's do it this way so I can hold on to the right if it gets a little bit crazy so welcome everybody great to see you here uh, we'll just wait for this next one to come in hold on a second Clive Clark, good afternoon to you. Eki Van Nienan, so good show that had to join premium. Thank you, Eki. Uh, Stephanie Forty will in the chair. Uh, got in the shot. Okay, Van got in the shot. Leslie Pike, glass engraver. Don't tell him your name, Pike. Uh, apparently Spectre Savers are sending you a year's supply of lens cleaners. Jilly, did you hear that? Spectre Savers are sending me a year's supply of lens cleaners. <laughs> anyway, thank you. Uh, John Palmer, uh, Ryan Russell, good afternoon. British 747-100, giving a shout out to all our new members. Welcome all our new members. Uh, great, I've got an 0207 number ringing me here. Uh, let me let me just answer it, Julie, and I'll uh, see what happens. This is 
Jerry. Hello, sorry, this is Jerry. Yeah, you. Oh, we won't be, we won't be, yeah, we won't be here at six o'clock. We'll be, uh, I'll probably be um, putting my feet up on the couch, I'd imagine. Uh, yeah, it's, it gets dark at, um, it gets dark at about 5.30 now and, um, did, 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 did. Um, well, we don't, we don't, we don't know yet because we, uh, we're waiting to see whether normally they do a, a, a runway switch at three o'clock, which means that the northern runway will be, uh, will be in use. So, um, if they switch at three, then we'll be going off air at three. Yes, yes, of course. Yeah, or I can do a Zoom with you from here on. So I'm gonna, oh, did you want to do it at six o'clock? Okay. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, I don't see any reason why we can't do that. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's, uh, it's... TV. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Okay, thanks a lot. Okay, cheers. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Oh my good God. <laughs> ITV interview at six o'clock on the six o'clock news. Has the touch and go happened? No, George, not yet. Let's uh, let's wait and see. Very rare uh, occurrence, it has to be said. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, I mean, you know, in terms of an aircraft's aerodynamics and these are, these are decent enough conditions for them at the moment. It's just the gusting conditions can um, create a little bit of havoc when in, that, in those final moments of, of the touchdown process, I'm guessing, just to get the thing on the ground because with such a uh, heavy... A, oh! With such a strong headwind, um, the aircraft kind of still wants to fly. folks big daddy oh <laughs> Mike Litterus
A383 minutes. Thank you, folks. Thanks for all the updates. Keep them coming. SJ's a new member. Welcome. Uh, Smith. Smith, give up. Good afternoon, John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not doing much good though. for another level yes I mean really in all honesty you know they train for these uh, for these moments don't they these scenarios in the uh, in the simulator but uh, you can only train so much and it's a totally different environment isn't it you can, when you're on board an aircraft you can feel it buffeting you can feel all the you know the because the wind is a, a very unpredictable component isn't it when you feed it into a simulator, I don't know, is it, uh, Vegas. Just 
just uh, that big droopy undercarriage kind of uh, caught me off guard there a little bit. So where's this BA380? Oh, there he is now, just making his way over the channel. Peanuts, shock ices, get them while they're on. say that didn't they around about two o'clock they say that the winds were going to drop a little bit around about uh is it? wow hit that subscribe button if you want to uh if you want to watch this live stuff on a regular basis folks uh we're live twice a week so uh, hit that subscribe button and then when you do become a member also make sure please that you hit the subscribe button i'm not just saying that because you know, we want you to do it we want you to, it just means that you're able to chat uh when we're live um because um in their infinite wisdom youtube um have made it so that um you have to subscribe to chat even as a member so uh, say about that have a think about this and uh, see what the uh oh my matt devitt good afternoon man. welcome to big gen tv welcome as a premium member paul skilling uh sucru's nothing departing heathrow at all uh paul skilling saying carol smith good afternoon tech kit sarah uh marie uh, where has this channel been all my life? Uh, Sarah Marie, good afternoon to you. Uh, Rob Ashplant, Adam Beavis, Patterson, uh, Lee Davis, Sydney, okay, Fiona Addison. Right, guys, thank you, Jerry and Jilly. Been an amazing show, Go to work. Uh, yeah, a lot of people have. Uh, would you take care of yourself, Fiona? Um, and uh, keep your eye out for low flying bits and bobs. Uh, maybe less than Captain Scott Marshall. Um, uh, Stephanie uh, giving us that. Um, signed BA274 from Las Vegas. Uh, Steve O. Walton, got to be in the 30s, I think, for um, in terms of the uh, the go-arounds today. Dave Yearsley, good afternoon. Elam Hughes, the POTUS power, or should I say the POTUS power? Hey! Hey, 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 hey. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, bits flying all over the gap. That's not good. No. Well, at least it's not a shed and there's not a Toyota Yaris parked in front of it. <laughs> Got a voice in. Huh? Doing this, uh, doing what? Uh, flying, going to Thailand, which is just like my cat. 
the Northerns. Um, and if they do, then we're going to go off air. So um, if you want to do that then, I guess. Yeah, does that work? Yeah. Um, well, uh, you can... Um, are, you, are you doing... Is it just audio? Is it just audio or is it video? Okay. Um, well, there's a spot through there, over there, in that corner there, where the, where the wooden fence is that you can climb through. But what, what, wait, uh, yeah, let me, let me, let me... Uh, no, no. Um... want we can uh, you can wait till three o'clock and I can meet you over in the uh, in the paddock over there you can bring your van in you can bring your vehicle in at, at the paddock over there if you want yeah over there yeah so if you if you go and wait for me over there at outside the outside those gates then I'll uh, I'll, I'll drive out and I'll meet you there at three o'clock or just after yeah well, I've got to say goodbye to everybody and and do all of that stuff so uh, just be just after three yeah does that work okay mate see you in a bit cheers bye wow flipping egg okay I desperately need a cup of coffee Uh, Darson, God wants you to repent your sins and put your trust in Jesus. Okay, well, he threw a shed at me the other day, so I'm not all that happy with God at the moment, but um, uh, we'll have to see about that. Maybe I'll give him a call next week. Thanks anyway. Uh, Captain Sky Marshal, uh, Bob Mean Street. Calm down here in Wiltshire now. My fence is somewhere in Berkshire. But there we go. Uh, Alan, uh, Anna Dillon, good afternoon to you. Antonian, uh, Antonin, Antonin Sebastian Meta. Milata, sorry. Thank you, man. Great work watching from Prague. A uh, very good afternoon to you. Miss Matthew are getting worse than the wind. Um, is there not? Okay, well, no, it's just because it's a direct headwind. Uh, they're not going to be... Uh, Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Ha <laughs> Um, where's uh, where did you get that info from about the switchover GP? Oh, really? Are they saying it? Okay, so that is a new Oh my god, it's gonna take me about a week to get through all the fucking messages.
Hi there, I just spoke to one of your guys uh, who's here at the, at the paddock. It's Jerry from Big Jet TV. Hiya. Uh, Yeah, you're, you're, well, I'm doing an interview with you guys tonight at, at 10 o'clock on site or something. Yeah, yeah, okay, so what, what, what time is that? Oh, come in. Uh, you want me to come into your studios or? Okay, okay, and where, where are the studios? Yeah, okay. Oh. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, I mean, I can, uh, can certainly do, what's that, tomorrow, Saturday, yeah? Okay, um, right, well, just, just drop me an email, have you got, you've got my details, have you, or? Yes, yes. Yeah, but what I'm saying is that my YouTube on my phone has, uh, has gone down. Uh, someone said it's down. I said Big Jet TV is down. Is it on or off? Will be on or off? Okay. 100%. It's just going to be a little bit difficult. a triple seven in from Las Vegas. Two BA triple sevens.
fast ride. Long fast ride. Why well, is my inter saying internet and all that sort of stuff going on here? What's going on? Dr. Liz Cooper. What's all that about? <laughs> Stay there, Dad. Stay there. Right in front of the camera. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> These big furry bumlet. <laughs> right, okay, here we go then, folks. Oh! Is that the BA380 uh, behind this? What looks like a Dreamliner, I think. is actually not on my radar, Jilly. Shit all about! Is my, um, is my phone um, playing up or something? Yeah, my phone's playing up. Yeah, my phone's playing up, mate. My phone's playing up. I'm going to have to close everything down. Sorry, we shut for the afternoon. Easy son, easy! Flipping out, he's a little bit um, over ambitious on the elevators there, wouldn't he? See how the Brits can do with a 380 sitting up there in his big snug cabin. Great news to hear that British Airways are planning to uh, refit their cabins on the 380s. So that's a big investment. That means they're investing more time with these big jets. So we're going to see them flying for a lot longer.
Unbelievable, mate. Unbelievable. If I turn round this way, if I turn round this way, it wouldn't be better, yeah? Zoomies, zoomies, zoomies. Wow, smell that tyre smoke from that 380, mate. We'll have a go. Still not loading up, GP. So I've got no YouTube. I don't know what's going on there. Do what? Uh, yeah, we'll try that. We'll try that. Stand by, stand by. That's a good idea. We'll, we'll switch to that. There's going to be a big switch out as well. Okay, hang up, GP. Hang up. Let's see if it if it makes any difference. Hang up. Is that there's been so many thousands of people who've come in and said, I've never, I didn't even know this existed. You know, um, I didn't realise that planes uh, were so cool. You know, so um, yeah, it's just been uh, very overwhelming. Do you think that more people are going to want to take it up now as well? In terms of uh, in terms of watching planes, I don't know about sort of like bring them out to watch the planes, but to be able to watch it. You know, live on these channels, it's uh. And, and for the actual pilots, what have the conditions been like today? Very challenging, extremely challenging, um, especially earlier on when there were crosswinds. Now it's more of a headwind, so uh, it's a lot. I wouldn't like to say easier, but it's um, it's a lot less challenging than uh, than with a crosswind, because the um, obviously the aircraft wanting to keep flying sideways you know and so uh, you're getting hit by all the winds at the side uh, so that crosswind component brings a lot of added challenges it's windy down here what's it like up there for you very windy we've had to anchor the sticks down Well, 
young up and coming pilots. Uh, um, you know, every genre, every type of person, you can expect to get involved with this. And it may be a bit scary sometimes as well, hasn't it? Uh, well, for the passengers, yeah. most definitely, yeah. I mean, um, the pilots will be warning the passengers, well, we're not warning them. Is that good enough, yeah? yeah? Increase that one. Fantastic! Oh my goodness me!
flip, you know. Um, no, I've got, I've got a flask. That was pretty gnarly, that was, man. That was pretty gnarly, yeah. Yeah, we're all good, man. We're all good. In fact, I might even try and take a... The trouble is that if I try and, try and take a drink of uh, coffee out of, me, uh, out of me flask, it'd probably all go flying everywhere, wouldn't it? Probably go everywhere but me mouth. Um, but anyway, there we go. Um, mentioned by Maureen O'Hat something, CNN's travel. And still they come. Joanna Swinton Bland. These landings will be in the memories of pilots today. Scary and exhilarating at the same time when all the training comes into play too right, Joanna. And like we've said so many times, you know, you can practice in a sim uh, day in, day out, but when you actually are in the element and you're actually in the, the real live um, When you're actually doing it for real, it's a, it's a completely different uh, scenario, isn't it, really? I'm guessing. Jules Farrell. Scouse. Yes, it was iffy. It was iffy. You're right. It was an iffy landing. See how, the, see how the smaller ones, I mean the big ones are sort of like more dramatic, but uh, the small ones can uh, certainly um, be just as uh, exciting as you know. Uh, Boxman, shout out to NM Paul from Twitch, thank you. Shout out to Mark West from London LDV. We'll be talking about them in the future. Nice. Oh, uh, Lisbon Spotter BEA on finals. There we go. Lovely little retro jet with British Airways. Uh, Samantha Kelly tuning in from Ireland. Saw it on Twitter. Uh, great to see you, Samantha. Great to see so many new people joining today as well. And a big shout out to all my current and new members. Robert Plant, Pammy Ying, Stephen Lusk of Charlotte Leary is a new member. Welcome, Charlotte. Squiddle, Roger Slater. Um, China Eastern. Okay, Roger Slater giving us some updates. This is the uh, BEA retro jet, folks, which we're really glad uh, is continuing to fly. Word was, word had it, that this thing was going to be retired from the BA fleet, but uh, they've kept her on. Keep those throttles open, have you, with these uh, strong headwinds, man. Easy. Easy. Lovely livery. Ah, it's in all weed and blue, mate.
being very flirtatious with the elevators. Oh, I say! That GP, did you catch that? Over. Over. We're on a in the Roger that. Over. <laughs> over. <laughs> Who are you telling me over to? Don't tell him your name, Mike. <laughs> yeah, anybody who's um, driven past and hooted at me today. I do apologise that I obviously don't acknowledge because I'm filming planes. But uh, no doubt you'll uh, go back, rewind it and listen to yourself. That's me, Uwe! Still not down. Better play. What's that? Who's that? What's that, GP? Both merged and became uh, British Airways. Right now. Okay, this is a 3.30. Big droopy undercarriage on him. Or is it a trip to A squiddle? from Lagos. No doubt I'd imagine on a cargo run this aircraft. Tristan Doherty, good afternoon to you. Lucy. Ian Morrison. seen all day.
Nice. Check out those reverses. Big old set of clam shells on it. That's great, Annalise. We've heard from Annalise. Paul Harvey says, I just realized I've been watching this for about five hours. That's the hook, isn't it? That is the hook. Uh, that's great, Paul. Great to see you here, thank you. Uh, yes, I've been filming for about five and a half hours. Uh, Sharon Case 330 and D. Jez Phillips, uh, Virgin 330, Bish, Bash, Bosch, Bosch, my surname, get in. Uh, he did. Uh, Nayako, um, Eva British Airways, Claire Westerman, announced the tour this morning that they were. They were what? She's my aunt and uncle watching the show, and that's from Melanie Lesson. Hello, Bob. Amanda Snuffle. Apparently, proud of it. Okay. Glad you're all safe as well, that's the most important thing. Jess Phillips, oh we did see a 3.30 earlier, did we Jess, thank you. Your pal Palpatine, up to 78,000 likes, wow! Folks, thank you so much for your uh, for your likes, we really appreciate it. Uh, we don't cry out for them or beg for them or anything like that, but I have to say, um, we are most grateful for you hitting that like button. Especially on a day like today where it's just so challenging, man. But thank you. HGC. Alan James. JB. It's great as a member you will enjoy. So Alan James telling JB. Yeah, it is great being a member. Great family. Great amount of people who can watch at any time, of course. Um, and as a member, you get access to all the back catalogue as well. Uh, if you've got any questions, you can obviously always ask us. Horses are good, thank you, Scouts. 
Claire W. Uh, are they mostly landing now? Yes, Claire, mostly they are, to be honest with you. Oh, uh, Louis Vincent, China Eastern with their beautiful livery coming in. C I I E. Um, been a sort of frequent arrival recently, currently 34 minutes out over the North Sea. Thank you, Louis Vincent. Feet Pro. Just be kind, all the pilots were seen today are heroes. They are, indeed, they are. And you win, you win, you win. And no doubt we will get our usual barrage of emails from pilots wanting to uh, get the clip of them, uh, of them landing. Helpful. They always give us a time uh, so we can find the clip. profile of the A350. Dora Gerber, there is an entire paragraph on Jerry in the New York Times. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh. I've got to go into London tomorrow, Jelly, for an interview on the Today Show, haven't I? On the Today programme. Malaysian 350! Beautiful aeroplane look. Aero livery. <laughs> Commentate on the races. And they're off! Are you serious, man? <laughs> oh, it's a commentator on the face. 15 furlongs ahead. It's Jimmy G out in front by two heads. And he's coming up on the inside. Melissa, what a day indeed, what a day, what an absolutely amazing day. You can never plan for it, you can never plan for it. I said to Jilly this morning, I said, what if we're going to get more than 30,000 viewers? Oh, Paul Gray, Rob, Paul Skilling, Trev Lyon, Curb Appeal. I love how Big Gen TV used to be quite corner, a quiet, to be my quiet corner of the internet, and now it's viral. <laughs> There we go, Rich Bash Boss Jerry. Strategic badges for pilot saying I was crumbled at 50 feet by Jerry Dyer. There we go. You had a beep! Oh, I'm going on live with celebrity. No one knows who I am, man. It's only a couple of people in the world, you know, in the grand scheme of things. Jerry, who? Uh, you and Weech, what a day, 230. 
30,000 viewers, so many new members, so many go-arounds, blasting past 150,000 subs, reporters chasing Jerry horses, running, trending on Twitter, boss, Big Gen TV, what a day, <laughs> Carl Jennings. Yeah, he had, he, 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 yeah, he was, he was, definitely was. Quickest 6,000 of me life, Samantha Hookshire. Dave Carr tried 237,000 plus, wow. Oh, blimey. Mood Swing Gaming, enjoy it. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks for the entertainment on an otherwise bleak day for most people. Thank you, Mood Swing. Mark oh, Mika, this beats anything on TV, even alligator hunting. <laughs> Do any of this, would I? I don't know. Do this. Yeah, we apologise, folks. The website has gone offline. It's been crashed. I think someone threw a shed at it. Uh, Lewis is one, two, three. Also confirming. Apparently, the whole of the white layer of the O2 has been blown off. Um, well. I do hope they're all right, and I hope people indoors, uh, I hope there wasn't some bloke sitting on the toilet when it got blown off. <laughs> Only joking, of course. Uh, Gwen M, fantastic and awesome show today. Thank you, Jerry, uh, Jelly, and... Jerry and Jelly, easy for you to say. Jerry and Jelly, it's been spectacular. Thanks so much. Meanwhile, my fence is blown down, but can't stop watching Big TV what I show. Thank you. Tony Cook. Owen B. Thank you. Dud Conyer 217, this has been brilliant, thank you. K Ash Lee. Thank you everybody. Uh, Alistair Scott is a new member. Howard Eaton is a new member. Welcome to all of you wonderful new members. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, Happy Sad 07 is a new member. Welcome Howard Eaton. Something so British about this. <laughs> Isn't there? Uh, Carl Robinson, only just got home from work. I've missed the best show ever. Uh, well, you know, Carl, um, it's funny that we do, from time to time, have a very meek and mild show. And people say, that was the best show ever. Uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, thank you very much, Sherry Hellier. You're a pal pal You the right to Big Gen TV in a movie. <laughs> Dylan McTurk thought they had a runway switch over at three. Normally they do, Dylan, but we have heard from Heathrow today that uh, the uh, runway switch was not happening to uh, Obviously down to the windy conditions, I'm guessing. Uh, Dave Carr, you may go to the toilet. Off you go now. Uh, Jed Llewellyn, fantastic show. Been watching all day. My shed collapsed while <laughs> watching. <laughs> Thank you, Letty Scott. There's a lot more be better people out there who deserve MBEs than me, I can assure you. Your Morton W. Uh, Lincoln Thanks for an amazing show. Made my day on the couch with the Corona much more enjoyable. I hope you have one more than one, uh, Your though, because um, it would have probably gone quite warm by now, I would have thought. Chicky Armitage, uh, welcome to you, Mootwing. Uh, Joe Phillips, thank you, everybody. Kirsty Finch, so many new members. Uh, Pat Bell, Tom and uh martin and ness uh good afternoon to you and a very warm welcome to big jet tv we're live folks 
We're live um, twice a week, every Wednesday, and uh, one show at the weekend. Uh, Bob, b and Shed on Final Street, and it's out Shed, Charlotte, Bank and Red. Uh, good afternoon to you, Bob Turner. Uh, Amanda Schnuffle could actually grab that. Uh, let me have a go at this. James, can't wait for the China Airlines uh, 777 inbound. Steve Best, KW Green. Late coming in, we'll definitely watch the replay. Good afternoon, everybody. Aviation in 4K, Scotty Tarpley. Uh, hope you're well. Helen Clapp, Mayana, just be kind. Third Qatar goes down in history. Uh, yeah. Well, we had an A380 Qatar, um, which uh, he did two go-arounds, folks. He did two go-arounds and made it on the third attempt. Louise Holly, I have a fear of flying, but seeing this Big Jet TV live stream and seeing how pilots have landed these planes from all over, maybe I will have more faith in these fantastic pilots. Louise, that is a fantastic bit of feedback. Thank you. Oh, what fun. Okay, here we go, folks. It's not over yet. Indeed. Oh, I must look like a right wreck. He's taking a picture of me. I must look like a complete idiot. Got my mic all tangled up in my glasses. Man, look at the wing flexing. Wow, he's off center.
<laughs> These guys are silly, look. That's the way to do it, isn't it, look? Go on, son! <laughs> Brilliant, look. American Heavy, well that was, this is United, United Shane, is it United, no, A&A, &A. this is the all Nippon Triple. pretty crazy that is pretty crazy man wow gonna need a long flipping soaking of giant bath for saving it and I'm to uh, meet up with you and get some of your current, currently delights. Uh, but it is great to know that you're well. We have been worried about you, uh, Annalise, to be honest with you. Thomas Cruikshank would love to know what sort of conditions that auto land can be used in. Well, definitely not this, Thomas. Uh, no auto land in these conditions. Uh, there is up to a certain wind speed, I'm guessing, uh, or, you know, that, that, that they do allow for uh, auto land, but in critical conditions like these, where the um, where it's so unpredictable, the auto land is not able to uh, to deal with it quick enough. Basically, it, uh, there's nothing like an human being to get this uh, thing on the deck. challenging than a side wind, put it that way. Uh, Roger Yeager, China Eastern Special Livery, 11 minutes out. Alex Reynolds, so much for my uni work. There we go. I'm afraid you failed, sir. Yeah, BT. Course is a new member. Welcome, Mick. Side Chambers. A proper British holiday. A day parked up at 
Flipping thing over me ear. Keeps falling off me ear. Let's see if I can hold on to it this time. Tall tail. I oh, know. It's only a three to me. <laughs> What's that, Julie? Leslie, boy. I counted 26 go arounds, but may have missed some when I went for a comfort break. Well, the ones that you missed, uh, uh, chances are that they were the ones that were way out, uh, and some of them were actually. Uh, out of our uh, out of our sight. Leslie Donaldson uh, saying 35 so far. It's what's commonly known as the glide slope, folks. The, uh, the aircraft's computers will lock on to the uh, ILS, the instrument landing system, which is basically that big orange thing there, stretching across the runway there. All that, uh, that orange there, those, um, that component there is... Uh, basically locks onto the ILS, establishes the aircraft. This is a 737. Oh, easy! I'll tell you what we've been lucky with is uh, we obviously had uh, very windy conditions earlier on but uh, it's really um, we've been lucky that we haven't had it all day Bruno Bruno is a new member welcome uh, Bruno Al Barczewski kind of a banger there uh, Dora Gerber aviation Leroy, um, yes we did have 230 
37,000 people watching at one point. Uh, mood swing, Nick McNair. <laughs> Where's the Taron baby bus? Yeah, saw it yesterday in Schiphol, didn't we? His big giant tail, all fluffed up. Straight at you. Easy, easy. shame because uh, no doubt they had things planned but yeah the winds obviously got up underneath it hasn't it because the uh, the O2 roof actually overlaps doesn't it overhangs the edge of the building and so that the, the winds just way easy the winds got up underneath it and once it's torn one edge then the whole thing's just obviously um, come off like a <laughs> it does make you wonder some of these guys uh, some of these pilots just like right okay there it is there it is drop it injection 1000 James, President Putin has become a member of the Chelsea <laughs> uh, Mike, no change over Mike. It's uh, as it is. James doing companion bro. Oh, easy son. So we we often get this, don't we? Um the uh the Aer Lingus jets one after the other. It's quite a common these guys are used to uh, win the arrivals in the Dublin. English rugby captain's watching. <laughs> I 
Yes, you're right. I would, I would, I would imagine, you know, even uh, even the strongest amongst us would be a, a little bit apprehensive about landing in these conditions, especially when you've got somebody uh, who's um, who's uh, behind you. Oh, are you with him?
across the uh, comms off of the headset. Well, the plan is, hold on a second. Just let me check this one. Look at this, look at this. Pulling into the back of the stack. So this is something, this is, a, oh, look at that. Yeah, nice. Just a little tiny moment there. <laughs> oh, it was a jump. But that's, uh, that's an aircraft that's now joining the uh, back of the ILS, uh, the, um, the glide slope. So the pilot will now be telling the, um, the tower he will have actually just been handed over to the tower um, and he will say fully established 10 miles something like that anyway uh, so Matt I think that might be the uh, Kenya Airways uh, 787 into the ground man how cool is that smack of shack wind 270 gusting 48 knots uh, Darren Hamilton so uh, Darren say wind 270 this is runway 27 um, they always give them two digits there's never three zero three digits of a uh, on a, on runways but um, it's uh let me just see if I can do this. Can you hear me, Jelly? Jelly, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I think the headset's dead, mate. So um so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna cut at 30 in 30 after the 747, yeah? so I can't do that obviously no 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 the other day uh, whenever it was Friday or or no it wasn't <laughs> Tuesday or yeah, I think it was Tuesday um, quite windy and uh, 
the, the, the pilot was actually battling to keep the aircraft straight on the runway uh, during our during our departure run. Oh, I've got you now. Back there. I can hear you now. I can hear you now. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what that's all about, mate. I don't really know. Oh, David. A380 inside Mariella Shulton. Uh, is she? Is she now? There she is. There she is. Pulling into the... Is that it? No, no, no. That's still a Dreamliner, I believe. This is the um, Jambo Jet, as some people call it. From Nairobi, Kenya Airways. Look at that wing flexing. a delivery to a sports centre in the cafe. It was a chap sitting having a coffee watching you guys. Made me so jealous. Oh, bless him. He was out doing, uh, he was out doing deliveries. I think everyone's watched Big Jet TV uh, today in the UK. Absolutely insane, folks. Great to have you with us. And great to spread the word. Thank you so much for your likes as well and shares as well. Um, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for uh, spreading the love. Alan Robbins, A380 Basildon. <laughs> Flying over, I uh, flew over Dagenham the other, way, the other day on the way in and uh, don't forget the old Rolls-Royce Merlin engines were uh, built in Dagenham as well. Not all of them. A good few number of them at the old Ford plant. Nice. Nicely done. Beautifully executed. China, uh, Air China, I think. John has got Qatar 350 gave controls over the flight attendant on the attempt. I don't know if that's what, what, what that's all about. Um, it did happen in Qatar 380. Uh, two go arounds, and he made it in on his third attempt. This is, uh, this is, uh, this is Air China, isn't it, Julie? Uh, not, um, it, it, you know, the one with the, the flower on the back. That everyone was saying that we never see it. He's right. Hello. <laughs> now I've lost you again, Julie. Have I lost you again? Oh, yeah. Okay, so basically what it is, is this headset has gone down. Uh, and every time I turn it on, I get about 
30 seconds of feed, but this is the... Uh, it's great that you and we can all be part of it that's the main thing at the end of the day that's what it's all about all the love's got to go out to these pilots and also let's not forget let's not forget all the ground crews the ground teams um, you know, all the folks that, uh, whoa, whoa, who lazy, son, get it down. The older folks who uh, offload your baggage, like it or lump it, whatever the conditions are, your, uh, your baggage has to get to you, so... Those hard workers, the refueling teams, the emergency teams, um, anybody who's out there today working in these conditions, basically. Um, uh, Laurie Hayes. I may just not show up again, but at least you've got my two bucks for an hour's entertainment. <laughs> Laurie, hope to see you next time, of course. We'll be back probably on Sunday, I would have thought, folks, because the uh, conditions need a day off tomorrow at least, don't we? Um, not that I'm going to get one. I've got to go into London early in the morning. Well, I don't know about that. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not.
Lawrence Wakey. Folks, Chilly does not, Chilly is not in the back of the van. She's uh, in Yorkshire. All the way up in Yorkshire. Bloody hell. She's not bolted in the back of the van. <laughs> Contrary to uh, people's um, beliefs. easy now it's a headwind of course earlier on today if you were with us a lot of people have been with us for the duration and of course it was um, heavy crosswinds earlier on today uh, don't forget folks we've got a 747 inbound is that it there uh, joining the back of the stack that looks uh, no that's a twin engine Hatchel. thank you Jimmy Cricket. Uh, when are you coming in London City? Well, wouldn't have been over there. It was close today, wasn't it? Uh, Thomas Much. Thank you. Uh, well, actually, uh, I'm not tied down, but the sticks are tied down. Uh, so that gives me a lot more uh, flexibility. Um, that's uh, obviously a very important part of the whole operation making sure that everything's tied down. Um, <coughs> 92,000 likes, flipping Nora. That's insane, isn't it? Thank you, everybody. Established 10 miles. That's uh, to be honest with you, we've had a we've had a good old um, cluster of 380s today. But um, the big one that we're waiting for, of course, is the 747. Then we've had the full bunch today, haven't we? Gear down on the 80s shot that man. Now these guys with uh, Emirates, we've talked about it earlier. The guys with Emirates, um, there is a uh, there is a um, a point at which they must lower the gear, uh, no earlier or no later than a certain point. And uh, I've heard it from the horse's mouth from an Emirates pilot that uh, if they if they if they're come maybe even 30 seconds out, it uh, it registers on the. Uh, a big red light goes did, 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 at the uh, <laughs> back of the Emirates head office. John's let his undercarriage down too quick. Call him in. Uh, Jess Humphreys, 747, just over the coastline. Thank you, Jess. A bit of nose down attitude on that 380. there in the 
snowy, windy west of Ireland. And uh, great to have so many people tuning in from Ireland today and from all over the world. Got people from everywhere, literally. H. I think it's a I think it's um I don't think it's for fuel efficiency um, because obviously you know you're burning more fuel when the gear is e extended um, more wind resistance needing to uh, obviously um, have more power on the engines when the when the gear comes down you do notice a very uh, significant decline in speed when the gear comes down when you're on approach if you're on board an aircraft but um, but yeah, I think it's just a, um, I think it's just um, company policy, really, that uh, pilots are told. No earlier than this point and no later than that point. That's the big worrying thing in it. If you're a passenger on a jet, not a worrying thing, but when you're a passenger on a jet and you can feel him coming into land and you're like, you're waiting for that moment, you're waiting and you're waiting and waiting. The amount of times when I'm filming uh, touchdowns, um, when I'm on board the aircraft, just waiting for that moment. And sometimes ones like that, they're floating it forever. All you new members today, by the way, folks, uh, great to have you with us and thank you so much for supporting the channel. Um, of course, premium members coming overseas with us on our member only trips, along with first and super class members uh, to the European gigs and uh, the overseas stuff into the US for first class and super class members, of course. Uh, but just what is important, if you're a new member today, make sure you subscribe. isn't it absolutely insane okay 747 that's what we're waiting for now folks don't know if we're going to end up getting this one as the most watched aircraft on flight radar but maybe we can i don't know is that her how many hours is she that's the thing extension is about absolutes it is fully extended etc spot 127 uh, james fisher where is the queen let's just have a little look here see if i can see on flight radar okay we do have a number of aircraft uh still to come before the 747 she's north of the airfield uh northeast of the airfield uh currently at 9600 feet this is an ex thai airways 747 she's a freighter folks um so she's she's been flying passengers off to um exotic locations most of her life but uh now a freighter emirates ek2 departure two and three quarters hours of oh right okay ek2 was two and three quarter hours late jeffrey phillips saying dean p good afternoon sailor mike jody bruce mrs h uh is Jenny really in yorkshire my neck of the woods there we go monty birds waking john collier scott goo uh george taylor charmaine good day to you charmaine
Yes. Sorry about that. go-arounds today, yes, for sure, Qatar nearly having to divert, but he made it third time in. So we do have uh, one, two. Okay, so she's still. Where's she gone? Okay, so she's still right over the top at the moment. I think still at 9,000 feet. Okay. Just see if we can't see her. Should be able to catch her on the um, upwind leg. Tens N Z uh, N Z being New Zealand, I guess is that right? James Fisher can't wait for this conference. Tomorrow, Andy P, Sherry Hellion. Um, Seven forty-seven is the only one I can identify. Well, Sherry, um, to be honest with you, uh, I wouldn't be too uh, too worried about that. You will over time if you watch more of this show, you will get to know these aircraft. And I can understand. You know, there's certain identifying uh, features. Well, there are always identifying features, but some of these uh, narrow body jets are obviously quite difficult to identify. But uh, obviously, the, uh, the flying baguette, as uh, a good friend of ours in America calls it, uh, the 321. Is the extended variant, the longest variant of the um, of the narrow body Airbus jets. But there's so much more to uh, to ident. And you see, you could be mistaken to think this is a uh, this is a um, a 350. Um, but then, as it gets closer, you see the winglets 
our uh, right wing tips, long wing tips on it. It's got quite a stubby undercarriage as well. 350 is quite, um, quite a bit more extended and um, the engines are a little bit um, smaller on the OD of, uh, of these uh, Trent 1000s or the GE9X. I'm waffling on really, aren't I? Nice little waggle of the elevators there just to bring the front end down nice and softly for the passengers. Trying to see that 747. Okay, now he's. Uh... Sorry? We've got probably, uh, well, it depends on what happens with this jumbo. But she's over there and she's um, sort of vectoring now, so... Vectoring is the other word I've got a lot of new words to be, it's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> well, you make stuff, as you go, make stuff up as you go along a lot of the time, you know, but... Uh... <laughs> it's nothing like finishing with a jumbo, man. She's been round the block a few times, this uh, 747 that's coming in. It's a passenger to freight conversion. Uh, it's not a pure freighter. She's uh, been converted some time ago. Oh yeah. from the left of your picture there, folks. Unmistakable sight of the jumbo jet. The big, long extended upper deck as well. Ex-passenger jet, there she is. I've got her on visual. Still in her Thai Airways colors, man. Up. Smell that Dunlop. Do you like cheese? <laughs> Have I got a second series?
three step, three step. As, uh, as we're normally used to. Let's get this Neo. Flew on one of them, back from Zurich. trucks uh, for the jumbo but it is what it is these guys have got to do their job haven't they these uh, truck drivers okay hi Jerry hiya we're likely to be going live quite soon so oh really yes <laughs> okay well this 747 is okay. <laughs> about uh, three minutes out okay. When you say get you down there, get you down here. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You can't do it from up here, no? quite a way out. I reckon she's I reckon she's a good five minutes out. You want to try? It's a lot windier up here than it is down there, so be careful and make sure you hold on. Well, we've got uh, two more aircraft before the jumbo, so I've got three more planes to land, and then, you can... and then I can, then I can, okay. I can leave it live, but I can come down and do the piece, and then okay. I can say my goodbyes to okay. everyone. so that we can say a nice goodbye to everybody.
yes, you can't, you can't, you got to go with the Queen, haven't you? The big top, catching a little bit of uh, crossy there. Got to do it. Is it live? Yeah. Okay, I've got to do it. I'm on TV. On ITV, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay, going to be live on ITV, folks. If anyone's in the UK okay. going to watch it, I'm going to I'm going to point the camera down at me being interviewed live on ITV, which is a little bit weird. There you go. Waited all day for her. All day. And we've had such a lot of fun, man. Figures, numbers just been broken to pieces, smashed to pieces. Thank you, everybody. Hey, folks. Well, how about that? Uh, so who stayed for the duration of that five hours? Was it five hours, did it? I think it was five hours. About four and a half hours of uh, Storm Eunice. Um, and uh, lots of people apparently saying that, uh, that they hadn't seen it before. They hadn't, they hadn't seen it before today. So um, fantastic to be able to give that to a few people. Okay, folks, so as promised, we are here at uh, CAE down at Gatwick. Um, we are approximately one hour before uh, going live uh, down here with Zane Dunning who's going to be taking us through the whole procedures of, um, of not just uh, flying an aircraft but also controlling an aircraft in, in very uh, stormy conditions. Um, it's been a long time in the planning and uh, finally it's, it's come to fruition. Uh, as you can see here, CAE, uh, one of the leading um, simulation flight test centers 
uh, got a whole host of flight simulators here. Virgin Atlantic, of course, um, tra uh, train and uh, test their crews here, as well as uh, um, uh, EasyJet, I think it is, as well as TUI, amongst others as well. They've even got PPL, folks doing PPLs here as well. Um, but yeah, really excited to do it. Uh, make sure you tune in back at four o'clock this afternoon in just about an hour's time. And we look forward uh, to seeing you then when I'll be uh, having the kitchen sink thrown at me, literally. All right, folks, see you in a bit. Cheers.